Hello, my friends. This is my FPV party ground station. From the outside, it looks like a travel suitcase. And the only giveaway is the power plug on top. And yeah, the fact that it's <laughs> super heavy. Let's say maybe 20, 25 kilo. It's almost done. Just needs one more part. So while I'm adding that, I'm letting the cameras roll. So those of you who are interested in building something similar can have a look inside. Now, when you open the lid on this case, there's room to put a laptop in, but I've installed a 20 inch monitor. To operate the thing, I would put it on its side and then remove the top lid, which reveals um, the recorder and the antennas and um, connections for the pilot goggles. This recorder here records on SSD drives. The bottom also opens up and uh, reveals a little bit of a sight into the internals. To get to the connections where I need to get to, I have to remove this lid where the monitor is attached to. There's not much space in there, so I need to remove the video converters and the power supply so you can see the connections underneath. So left and right, you can see four Clearview receivers and they're connected to the four AD converters on top, which if you look closely have two outputs each. The input is at the back. You can't see it from this perspective. The right output port of each converter is connected to the red device in the middle, a quad split screen generator. And the left output of each converter goes into the video mixer, the big long device with the heat sink in the middle. Now important to understand this picture is that the output of the split screen generator feeds into a video recorder, which in turn also outputs its signal, which I then feed as fifth input signal into the video mixer. Now to control that mixer, I need permanent access to that ethernet port you see on the top right of the screen. So in order to get that wirelessly, I'm going to squeeze this Wi-Fi access point into the case somehow. When I take it out of the case, I think I can just stick it to the bottom here. Let's try. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Let's plug it all in and see if it works. Yep, connection to command center established. Confirming video reception. Yep, channel one works good. Switch to channel three. Yep, switch to channel five. Five. Oops, five doesn't work properly. What happens here, dude? Let's open up the config interface for channel five. See, it's on 5860. Let's change that to 5820. Looking good. Go to video. So here we go, channel 5. And now channel 7. Yep. All good. 1, 3, 5, and 7. Yeah! So I think everything is working. I'll put this thing back together and 
guess what? Have an FPV party. <laughs> if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below.